Um, have you ever thought about selling PCI cards with your chip at retail, like a GPU, just yes. an accelerator that people can buy off the shelf? Because yeah. I've had a lot of requests for that. Yeah, we're going to do that. Like last, you know, about a year and a half ago, we started to rev up. We, we ordered thousands of cards. We had a reasonable number of models running. We thought we were going to start to sell, you know, small volumes of people who wanted to take them, experiment with them. And then basically two things happened. The supply chain, the cards didn't show up, so we had nothing to sell. Mm. And we did not move steadily from like 10 models to 20 to 30 to 40. We kind of plateaued because some of our software assumptions broke as we went into more models and more complexity. So we, we did a fairly big pivot and we rewrote our software stack as, you know, deeply. Mm. Now we're running the number of models we want and then we work through the supply chain issues and we now have a reasonable number of cards and I hope pretty soon we'll be able to sell, let's say, retail AI cards. Yeah. Um, but I really want to do that after we go through a reasonable number of engagements with people are pretty close. They go, well, we got these models, we ran for them, they bought the computers, they installed them, they worked. Mm. You know, they iterated, they, were, they changed their software, they're relatively happy or they threw us some bugs. Uh, we're going to open up our software stack so people can look at it. So, yeah, the weirdest thing in the world is you buy a product with software stack, you write a program, and you get an error message from a piece of software you didn't never heard about, right? So we need to go work through that with people to say, here's how the software stack works. Here's how the error messages are funneled out. Here's how you like, you successfully write complicated programs and debug and work on it. But we're we're on the way on that. And, and then we will sell you know, cards to people. And the cool thing about that is then people think of all kinds of crazy things to do with them. And you know, yeah. I, I'm not a big believer that AI is going to show up in places that nobody expected. Like I've, I've been in places that said, oh, we, we know the five strategies, we're just going to target them. You know, I was at Sidebyte. We, we talked to hundreds of people. We had a hundred design wins. Some of them were unexpected. And the ones that did the most revenue at the end of the day weren't the obvious ones. So um, I, 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 believe in, I believe in a little bit of luck and that kind of stuff. I always Surprise. find that people who create the pickaxes are always the most surprised at where the pickaxes are used. <laughs> that's, that's, just, that's a fairly colorful <laughs> image. <laughs>